Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're going to love today's video because I'm going to go over the brand new update in Awesome Golf, Awesome Golf 3.0. This came out just about a week ago, and it really looks like a huge improvement. There's a lot of new features in here that I really love, and they added a couple of 18-hole golf courses for course play that they never had before. In the past, they just had the four nine-hole courses. Two of them I did like. And that's really how I started in Golf Sim, using Awesome Golf on my Android phone and Chromecasting it to a monitor hitting into a net. And then I graduated to a golf simulator. So let's get right into this. And before we get started, if you like this video at any point, please hit that like button. It'll really allow this video to be shown to way more people. and It'll be the greatest honor that you could give to me. All right, let's take a look at this graphic that I have. This is from the email that they sent. I'm not gonna read all of this. Here's the gist of it. Dear awesome golfers, we're thrilled to announce the release of our two licensed 18 hole golf courses and what a pair they are. You can now play the iconic West course at Wentworth Club and the stunning Majlis course at Emirates Golf Club from the comfort of your home. And like they say at the bottom here, this release is a major milestone for Awesome Golf, and it's only the beginning. So they plan on adding, based on their last email back in April, they plan on adding six total licensed courses that are real world golf courses. In the past, they never had that. So right now they just added two of these real world golf courses, which I'm going to show you. I'm gonna do a couple flyers. I'm gonna show you the holes. And it really is a big improvement for people that just use this for practice. They can now use this for more of a uh, golf simulation for course play. All right, moving on. There are no additional charges for the courses. They're available now in Awesome Golf Simulator 3.0. Check your apps to see if you have already automatically updated. And if not, visit the Awesome Golf Simulator listing in the App Store or Google Play Store and you can download it there. Moving on, across both of our nine hole and 18 hole courses, we also introduced virtual golf leaderboards to track the best scores from every tee position. Global stroke play competitions are another new addition to this update and we have a special launch competition ready to play now. We've also adjusted wind speeds across all virtual golf courses to provide more realistic and enjoyable playing conditions. Both new courses also each have three closest to the pin options uh, Two, adding six new challenges ranging from 38 to 192 yards. There are now 18 challenges to choose from and the closest to the pin with more to come in the future. They also added six wood, seven wood, eight wood, nine wood to the club distances section. And finally, for fans of Wrecking Balls, we've added gold bricks and rebalanced the difficulty levels to ensure everyone from beginners to experienced players can enjoy the fun. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the software and we'll show you what the new menu looks like along with the two 18-hole courses that they added, which I'm really excited about. Okay, here is the start menu. It really just looks the same as it always did. Let's go over to Virtual Golf. So initially they had these four uh, nine hole courses. They were fictional, so Spring Park Hills, Island Beach, Desert Canyon, and Valley Pines. And what they've done now, they've added two 18 hole real world courses being Wentworth West and Emirates. So they're both par 72s. They're both around the same length of yards. I'm gonna go into these and I'm gonna show you each hole on each. And then I'm also going to do a couple of flyovers for a par three, a par four, and a par five. Let's start with Wentworth. And we'll go to select over here. That way I can show you all these whole previews. And I really like this feature about Awesome Golf that you can go through here on the bottom and just look at each hole and choose which ones to select and play those holes, which is really, really nice. So I'll just go through these real quickly for you. Going through one through 18, so par four, par three, par four, par five, par three, that's an interesting hole, par four, par four, 
par four, par four, a lot of par fours. Par three, looks like a nice hole there too. Par four, par five, very interesting hole. Par four, par three, par four, par four, par five, almost 600 yards. And a par five on the last hole, another interesting hole that you could pick whatever fairway you wanna to go to. All right, so I'm gonna to go to, we'll start with this par five and I'll do a flyover on that. So as soon as I start it, it'll do a flyover. We'll do it from the tips. Looks really good. I do like the awesome golf style of graphics. It's not going to be like GS Pro or Foresight or something like that or TrackMan. It's not meant to be. It's this is more of a practice utility that is graduating to some course play. And I do like the style of graphics. It's their own style. And I don't think they should change it. I really do like it. And it's a welcome change, really, because you can use this on a tablet or on a phone or on a PC that maybe doesn't have you know, the best specs for speed. And it'll still work just fine because it doesn't drag the system down. It really is very well optimized for PC. All right, so let's go ahead and leave that one and we'll go to a par four. And here's a flyover of that one. Pretty small green. All right, we'll get out of there. And we'll pick a par three. Here's the flyover for the par three. Looks good, man, these greens are small. All right, now let's go over to Emirates. And here's all the holes, starting with a par four. Par four, you got some sand in there, that looks great. Par five, par three, Par four, par four, par three, water hole. That's gonna be nice. I'll demo that one. Par four, par four, par five, par three, par four, par five, par four, par three, par four, par four, and a par five. Wow, that's really interesting. I'll uh, fly over that one as well. So we'll do seven and 18 and we'll pick a par four. We'll do a flyover. Great views in the background on this. 18 for the par five. This should be interesting. And this looks really good. Very good. And we'll go back out and do the par four. And we'll go back and wrap things up. All right, so that's gonna be about it for today's video. I think it looks really good, especially the Emirates course uh, with the update. Um, I'm looking forward to playing that. I'm not going to do any course play today uh, down at the golf sim. And I'll do that maybe over the next couple of weeks, but I did do some course play on the golf sim, the last awesome golf video, and I'll put a link to that video at the end here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button, share with any of your friends that may be interested in awesome golf or just golf sim in general, because that's what my channel is all about. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.